Hi, this is Brett Hall with Bible Belt Outdoors bringing you Tech Tuesday. This is going to be a new weekly series we're going to offer to our viewers that follow us and we'll kind of go over uh, product reviews from uh, hunting, fishing, outdoors, just any equipment that you may use to get in the outdoors and we'll also provide tips and in addition to that we'll also uh, be in the call shop where we'll talk about call making, supplies, call tuning, uh, call service, just anything call related and we'll also dive into a little bit of woodworking later on with uh, some carving. But this week I'll be talking about how to take an insert blank, turning the bell shape, boring the tone channel and the exhaust hole and then for the ones that use an o-ring instead of just the taper press fit we'll talk about uh, cutting that o-ring group and then this will be a, a two-part series we'll next take tuesday we'll talk about turning the barrel okay let's get started so you can turn your insert from you know square stock if you're going to be turning from wood you'll just turn between centers to kind of get your tin in diameter and your bell down to round. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll be using uh, one of the Bible Belt Outdoors pre-casted blanks. Uh, they come in various colors, and the benefits of them is that they're pre-shaped. They have the taper for the press fit. If you want to use that, I'll also be showing you how to turn that down for O-ring press fit group. And then the tenon is pre-shaped to the 5 8 and then the bell is already round, so they're ready to turn. And we'll be using a Tim industry pallet chuck. And what I'm going to show you is how to turn this insert from start to finish without removing it from the uh, from the headstock. Slide it in, leaving enough room for the taper. If you're going to turn it down, or you can slide it all the way up against the, the taper. But if you're going to turn it down, go ahead and leave enough room for your tooling so that you don't have to rechuck up in your headstock. Cinch down your collet chuck. Engage your tailstock live center. And the first thing I do is, because I have all of my drill depth pre-set up so that I get consistent tone channel depth, I first check my bell length because I, I know in my tone board jig I'll rest against this. So this length to me is critical. Uh, if, if you do it other ways, you can take your caliper and pre-measure and mark, but I like to cut my insert bell to the correct length to start with. You can mark it. You can measure and mark or mark it with your tool. The nice thing about the collet chuck, you don't have to have your tail stop engaged at all times. So now I will go ahead and I could use the parting tool and part that off if I chose to. For me it's usually just as quick. To do it this way and cut the way in. Everyone has their own style, just do what works best for you. Once I have the link cut off, Re-engage your tailstock live center. Turn your bell shape. 
The way I like to do this is I turn down to my desired diameter for my O-ring groove. I like to turn the uh, desired diameter where my lanyard groove will go. And get it established, the location. And then I turn my shape. It really just depends on your shape, what you do first. Just find out what works best for you. Once you get it to pre shape, you can go ahead and sand. Typically start at 80, go to 120, 220, all the way up to 400 grit. Hit it with steel wool. I like to get the bell shape predefined before I adjust the tone channel. I like to get the bell predefined before I I like to get the bell pre shaped and defined before I cut the taper down and cut the uh, O ring groove. Or if you don't use the O ring groove and you prefer the taper press fit, you would immediately go into uh, drilling your tone channel. For my O-ring groove, I've got a parting tool. 
pre-marked with the appropriate depth. Put your O-ring groove. Remove your live center. And I start out with a center drill. This is this ensures a good start on your hole or drill bit. Sometimes we like to walk, so I use a center drill bit. Get that center established. Swap out for your tone channel drill bit. And again, we have ours pre mark with a drill stop. I like to crank it in, get a good start. About a half inch, three quarter inch or so. And then I use the slide on my lathe to complete the drilling. Going in and out to remove shaving. So my drill stop hit. Run it in once or twice to clean out. Make sure it's full depth. Put in your stepless or step. Paper drill for your exhaust. You can see I have my pre mark. So there you have it. The uh, insert is basically done for all the lay work. I'll just touch up the exhaust. Still wool over that lanyard groove, buff it. Since we're working with acrylic, I will go ahead and wet sand.
acrylic polish. Scrap remover. There you have it. Turn insert, polished. Ready to be taken. Two tone board jig. Cutting team. Tune in next week for part two. And I'll take you in and show you how we do a hand cut jig on a hand cut and tune on a jig and then we'll also go into a CNC stoneboard cut and tune. Thanks and God bless. You.